emotions ran high this evening after Security Minister Amaman Babazi was cleared by Parliament of accusations of influence peddling that led to the awarding of a 5 million US dollar communication systems contract to Tetra Communications prior to the 2007 Commonwealth Summit. A section of lawmakers amongst them Bugweri County MP Abdul Katuntu expressed worry that other ministers implicated in the scam could also get away scot-free. Katuntu had argued that there was no fairness during the debate. He had backed a motion moved by Dokolo woman MP Cecilia Ogwal which had implored the August House to stay a decision on the Chogom report and instead forward it to the Inspector General of Government for action. It became obvious that that report was hollow. You see, the problem, for instance, relating to my case, is that I was never asked the questions which, on which they gave answers. Ogwal's motion was shot down when Speaker Edward Sekandi put the question to vote. Earlier on, the Speaker bore the wrath of opposition lawmakers who accused him of bias. And next, we are telling the public, we are bringing the thing to the public court. Did the Parliament handle this report well? Did the Speaker handle it well? And for all of you can see that from day one, the Speaker has been biased and this report which you are seeing of Chogam is dead. It's how it's made. It's not courteous to other people. This is the problem. Maybe it's background, I don't know. We want to request the House and the Speaker probably to give us an opportunity so that we are taking decision on this Chogam. We take a decision by show of hands so that the Ugandans know who is on their side and who is anti them. State Minister for Finance Fred Omach had earlier on been let off the hook for his role in approving $3.5 million to J&M Hotel on Entebbe Road. Now the ball shifts to the IGG, who has promised to tighten the news and prosecute ministers indicted in the Chogom report by December if evidence gathered by his office will prove that they are indeed culpable. Emma Mtaizibwa, NTV Tonight.